Have you ever thought or maybe even asked one of your friends, do you really need a college degree? Have you heard people talk about how there's a jobs and education mismatch? Well, it turns out there's a lot of data to support those ideas. Let's take a look. Four out of 10 recent college grads are in jobs that didn't require a college degree. This is 2019. This is an article from the Wall Street Journal. If you look at student debt, it's at an all-time high, $1.41 trillion. Now let's look at this growth rate. From 2009 all the way to 2019, you can see there's a linear growth rate. So the debt keeps going up, but the jobs aren't the jobs that you would think someone would have from getting that degree. So is this going to be a sustainable trend or are there gaps? And are those gaps something you can exploit? Well, I'm going to tell you, you can exploit these gaps and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this next section. So let's talk about some of the theory here behind what's happening. Well, one of the things that's happening is that every company now is a software company. And this is a core fact that really supports this idea of learning cloud computing. And why? Because software runs on the cloud. And so if you are a software company, you're going to be running your workloads on the cloud. So what's next? All companies then need cloud talent. The universities are not training people fast enough, and often they're training them on the wrong things. So how do you exploit this? You can train yourself and you can practice lifelong learning. And we're going to talk about this all throughout the course, but this is a really important way to think about things is it's not enough to know the trends are out there or to get a degree from somebody else. You also have to take responsibility and teach yourself these skills. And that's exactly what you're doing by participating in this course. I'm going to show you how you can apply those same techniques to many other skills in the future. So let's go ahead and look more about this concept of cloud talent being hard to find. A recent survey showed that 94% of organizations have trouble finding cloud talent, 94%. Jamie Dimon, the chairman and CEO of Chase, said major employers are investigating, are investing in their workers and communities because they know it's the only way to be successful over the long term. So it isn't a nice to have or hopefully something that will be beneficial in the future. They have to do it because technology is such a disruptive force and many of the new jobs are not in line with what's being taught at the university level. So one of the ways that I've addressed this as an instructor, because I do lecture at many universities, is I've, I've taken the best of both worlds. So an example is the, the MSBA program at UC Davis, we were able to get 70% of our students certified on AWS. So these are top graduate students who are uh, studying really complex topics in machine learning and data science, but they're still doing the same thing you're doing. They're bettering themselves by spending their own time and, and practicing and learning about the cloud. Many of them then later went on to take advanced certifications. And I also got emails from students that said, thank you for encouraging me to get cloud certified because it was the thing that really brought me to the top of the pile when, when I was interviewing for a job. Now, others also continued to practice self-learning through AWS Educate. And we're going to talk about this later, how there's also sources beyond just this course you're taking that you can use to practice and continue to get better on your own. Another program that I've taught at is Northwestern. They have an uh, AWS Educate integration, and I designed multiple graduate courses with some of the AWS material. So I designed a computer vision course, I designed an analytics engineering course, and I used a lot of these free resources and a lot of the resources that I'm gonna show you in this course in those graduate level courses. So really, even at the highest level, at the elite level at universities like UC Davis and Northwestern, they're still taking some of these same uh, techniques and these same technologies that I'm going to show you and integrating them into their program. Now, what are some ways that the cloud talent gap can be solved? Well, you have to approach it from many different problems and and many different solutions. So one of the ways that you can solve this is that you can integrate AWS certifications into degree programs, and I'm currently doing that. And in fact, 
I'm, I'm leading the way worldwide in doing this, and I'm uh, doing this at multiple universities. Also, you can integrate AWS Educate into degree, degree programs as well. So AWS Educate lets students self-learn, and this is really a core concept that I'm gonna talk about over and over again in this cloud practitioner video. Also, just conceptually, this concept of self-learning is something beyond just AWS Educate that's really important to learn is that this is the wave of the future is how do you learn things yourself so that you can be at the cutting edge and you can get those job opportunities that just don't exist yet because there's a gap between the formal education and what is, is actually relevant in industry. Finally, educate companies on the value of employee-sponsored training. So maybe you can encourage your, your, your company to buy a course like this. Maybe you can have study groups in your company. This is a really important concept as well, and it's something to be aware of. And finally, another thing to think about is that many companies may decide to train uh, workforces in lower-cost regions. And this is really a, a great way to take advantage of this trend as well. So there are many ways that companies can take advantage of this problem. So that's my really my, my takeaway here on this concept of a jobs and education mismatch is you, this learner that's going through on your own time and studying the cloud practitioner exam, this is exactly the right approach to, to taking advantage of these gaps in the marketplace.